Hey, what's up guys? My name is TJ Smith from TJ Smith Gaming, and today I'm with Hot Pepper Gaming, and I'm going to be reviewing a game called Outlast. But first, I'm going to be eating this habanero pepper. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good one. You chose a good pepper. All right, here we go. Outlast was published by Red Barrels Games, which was the uh, same people, cons consisted of some of the pe same people who worked on Assassin's Creed, Uncharted, Prince of Persia, and Splinter Cell. So they're kind of a big deal. You are journalist Miles Upshur, investigating Mount Massive Asylum on an insider tip that some creepy things are going on. Spoiler alert, once you go in, nothing goes according to plan. As you play through, you make your way through the asylum, trying to explore the horrifying events that have occurred there. Then you decide that you're gonna try and escape. Again, nothing goes according to plan. You must make your way through the asylum and the surrounding areas trying to survive. Alright, now it's kicking up. There we go. The game plays similar to Amnesia. You solve puzzles and you run and hide. Because if you don't do that, then you're gonna die. Monsters are a mix of scientific sickening experimentation and religious hysteria. They're unpredictable, which leads me to my favorite parts. Number one, the jump scares. They are in your face, they are unpredictable, and they are terrifying. Just as soon as you think you're free to go, suddenly someone pops up and is about to rip your face off. The environment slash ambiance is the next thing. Oh man, it's getting down in my throat. Whoa! It's exploring its way in my mouth. Oh wow. Uh. <coughs> With monsters um, sexually assaulting and dismembering each other and trying to do that to you, the feeling of consistently being hunted uh, and that you're about to lose your life makes you lose your mind. The details are also amazing. If a door is locked and you try to open it, it will actually do a full animation of trying to unlock the door, which is cool, but also may kill you if you're being hunted, because it takes about a second or two. You have a camera that you have to use for night vision because you can't see in dark areas, which sometimes is completely black and you can only hear around you monsters trying to kill you. Fantastic details. The cons, though, the things I didn't like, is that you get chased for pretty much the entire game. It gets a little old after the first couple of hours, but it's okay too. It keeps you on your toes. However, I wish there was a couple puzzles that you could just work on without the threat of almost dying immediately. The ending is also a bit of a pain for me. It's still a great ending. With such a fantastic complex story that evolves throughout the entire thing, the end is a little lackluster, although it's still beautiful. It's like getting a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone and a waffle cone. It turns out there's no chocolate chips. So, you still get ice cream, you still get a waffle cone, but there's no chocolate chips. Anyways, uh, Hot Pepper Gaming gives this game 4 out of 5 hot peppers, and I give this pepper actually only about 3 out of 5 peppers. I will be honest, I will be honest. Uh, anyways, thank you guys very much for having me on here. As always, I, I'm not gonna finish, so I'm not eating the milk. Sorry. Uh, even though I'm sweating. Um, be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, of course, to Hot Pepper Gaming. And you can check out my channel right here. I played throughout last, and you can watch me get my pants scared off right there. And uh, as always, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you soon. Adios! Damn! How? What? How? What? Let's do it! <laughs> Just grab a champion. It was the high five that did it. <laughs> Are there like a bunch of seeds in here? No, there are no seeds in there. Oh my god. Oh my, what just happened to you? <laughs> do you like spicy foods? I do like spicy foods. Ah. Oh.